to make sure that his legacy lives on. I will not let it die. Overcoming heartache, beloved musician Brian Murray's wife sharing her story only on WDSU. Murray was 60 years old when he was shot and killed back in January. Well, this week, the man accused of killing him was indicted for the murder. Police say Edmund Ramey Sr. shot and killed Murray. Murray, the victim, is the grandfather of Ramey's one-year-old son. WDSU News reporter Shay O'Connor joins us live now with how Murray's legacy will live on. It's a story you'll see only on six. Shay. That is very solid. Now, Renetta Murray says that she is seeking justice to the highest extent while also trying her best to keep her husband's memory alive and turning her pain into purpose. All around, everybody loses. There, there are no winners in this. Everybody loses. I lost my husband. His children lost their father. If you look at it on the flip side, Edmund's family lost him. Renetta Murray says it's still too hard to talk about the night her husband was killed. To hear that indictment, it gave me some peace. Somewhat. I'm halfway up the road right now to recovery. The musician and his wife would often play at clubs. Renetta on the mic as the singer, Brian on the trumpet. In his spare time between performing and working in the Jefferson Parish school system, Murray gave away free music instruments to at risk teens throughout the city. It is my goal to make sure that his legacy lives on. Renetta has now started the Brian E. Murray Senior Music Foundation in an effort to continue giving free instruments to teens who need them most. This foundation, the Brian E. Murray Senior Music Foundation, not only will focus on giving children instruments who can't afford instruments, but we will also provide scholarships starting next school year. We will provide four scholarships to students who are going to major in music. She says it's what her husband would have wanted, and Renetta says she forgives the man who took his life. Forgiveness is key to your healing. I pray for him. I pray for his family. Because as I stated in the beginning, Shay, everybody loses in this. Now, DA Jason Williams tells me that Ramey will be arraigned on June 1st. At that time, a trial date will be set. And of course, WDSU will continue to keep you updated on this situation. Reporting live from New Orleans, Shay O'Connor, WDSU News.